All right, so a big thing we're gonna be going over today is basically your block leg and getting it, practicing getting it down a little earlier, okay? So you can stand a little closer. But see how here, you're, obviously we went over this already, but basically when your back foot hits, that stride and that reach is good with your upper body, but your lower body, your block leg is almost like too far out. So you're spending a lot of time on that back foot and then by that time the block leg hits, your hip is fully facing forward, right? So your like leg is up and you rotate completely forward by the block hits. So you're having that linear, um, that linear speed and momentum from your crossovers, but then by the time the block hits, the block is almost a vertical motion. So we wanna keep practicing, bringing that linear movement from the crossovers into your penultimate so that you have a faster right to left. So if you watch here, like obviously Vetter's the one that does it the best where he turns that back foot over. But then you could see even by the time his back foot completely turns over, his block leg hits the ground. Yeah. And then Zelezny, you could see here even with him, watch how quick his right to left is, where he has like almost, his, his block leg is so low to the ground the whole time. Cause you want that like, you want that right to left to be super quick. So then by the time the block leg hits, we get that like, you know, the back leg is gonna be like 85% rotated, but then by the time the block leg hits, you'll get that energy from the ground and the, and the rest of the hip, that last like 15 to 20% will like snap through. Uh, okay, does that make sense? Yeah. So, so here is what we're looking for is not spending as much time on the back foot and just getting a faster right to left. So what I'm gonna have you do is, we're just gonna walk this through and we're just gonna practice landing like that, okay? So think about fast right to left, but by the time the block hits, snap the, the last like 15 to 20% of that hip forward. How high are you on the back foot? When you rotate, how do you want me to rotate? Do you want me to fully so, fully yeah, you, turn no, you don't want No, you don't wanna have to fully turn over, just really just practice here, just like that. The Jameis Winston drill. Yeah, basically. Or what is it, Dak Prescott Dak does it Prescott too. too. So yeah, just here. And just, you wanna feel that, you wanna feel like you're here, the black leg will hit quick, so it's right to left, and then the hip will snap through. I try to keep this, how close am I keeping my front leg into my frame? So, sure. are you talking about in terms of like, out to the side or right, right in front of you? No, like here or do you want like more like a snap? Whatever is comfortable. You just don't want to, you don't want to like force the, you know, when you're going slower, it's going to be a smaller stride. When you're doing it in a full approach, it's going to be a little longer because you're going to be bringing more speed. Uh -huh. So just do whatever feels comfortable. Really just focusing on feeling the, the right to left being really quick and then feeling that energy and tension from the ground and then just snapping the hip through all the way. Try to get it even quick. Try to get it even quicker. Which part quicker? Your left. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I feel it. You feel what? I feel a, a better connection. Yeah. Because that's the thing is that you want to minimize the. You want to get that back foot to turn over and then the block leg to hit powerfully, but you want to minimize. You want to minimize the amount of time that you're just gliding on that back foot. Yeah. I'll take a swing. How does the hip feel? Good. It's just so weird. It's different. Yeah. Cause yeah, because you know what I mean though? Because like before, like when you were coming in. Spending so much time. You were spending so much time. By the time you got to here, your hip was already fully forward. Yeah. And then your energy's linear and then you're almost pulling down. So then the block becomes vertical. Yeah. We want to keep all that energy going forward. So by getting fast through the crossovers and then here, you'll get your block down sooner, spend less time on the back foot, get your energy going forward and then snap the hip through yeah. right at the end. Good.
I definitely feel it. Okay, good. All right, so now we're gonna be doing the same drill, except when you get the right and left down, you fire the right hip and then toss the med ball up. Shoot okay. it up? Yeah, just like, kind of like the angle of a jab. So, put up and then throw. So the idea here is keep the, keep the linear momentum, okay? Keep coming forward. And then you wanna get the right to left quick, fire the hip and get through the throw. That looked dead. What happened? I felt like I looked fruity on that one. <laughs> I think I timed the, my hip and my shoulder at the same time instead of having the... Yeah, but it's weird try to keep the... Shot putting it. Yeah. How's it feel? I think good. How does it look? It looks fine. You definitely feel more of a pop. Where? In your back? It runs up. Yeah, definitely. It runs up from your block leg. Like yeah. I feel it through my hamstring and into the right side of yeah. my back. So here, stop real quick. Come right here. So, get like you're, um, like you're about to hit a block, okay? So get your left foot forward, okay? So now, I want you to rotate your hip into me. Into you? Yeah, like as hard as you can. Hip? Yeah, your back hip. How am I rotating into you, or just forward? Yeah, like forward. Oh, okay. How's that? Oh my god, he's passed out. That's so hard. Yeah, you know what I mean. Holy so, shit! So by by me like stopping you, that's where you're feeling like the tension from the ground. Yeah. You know, because like instead of being like here and rotating. You're like already planted and then you rotate, like almost like someone's like putting pressure against yeah. you. And you're just trying to fire that hip through the throw rather than do it completely before the block hits. That's so, crazy, isn't yeah, so that's the whole idea of like building that tension. And then once you're here, you feel that tension from the ground and then you unleash yeah. with the hip and then with the with arm. The yeah, try it again. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so you got you get that feeling? I like that one. We need to do that one more. Yeah. And then I'll have Nevin go on the other side of you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Huh? <laughs> How's that feel? You starting to get the get the idea of it? Yeah. Starting to feel more natural. Yeah. Is this restricted? Nah, you're gonna be assisted. So you're gonna get used to bringing more speed. So you just gotta throw it over my head. Ready? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> What'd that feel like? Crazy. It feels like almost like the full approach, but just a penultimate. Yeah. Ready? I gotta get a I gotta get a GoPro, put it on my forehead. <laughs> Dude, remember? I feel like everybody used to have a GoPro. I know. And I feel like they just dropped off. My brother just got a GoPro. Let's go two more. Just keep, keep feeling that tension. Keep focusing on getting the block down quick and then firing your right hip. <laughs> Drop. All right, we'll take a breather with that. All right, look. let me know when you're ready. So grab this and I want you to do, I want you to do the corkscrew drill. So face like, no, face like this way. So you're going, yeah. Because we're gonna we're gonna add a moving component to it. So just do the corkscrew drill real quick. You want the full thing? Yeah. Oh. 
All right, so now what I want you to do is that drill that we started with at the beginning, where you're here, I want you to go with the core skill and then go here. So when you land and you fire that back hip, that's when you unscrew it's like that. Oh, I see it. You know what I mean? I gotta get more of a... Holy shit. Rip my arm off right now. <laughs> what did that feel like? You want me to throw it through the wall? It feels so much more stretch. Yeah. Good. How does that feel? Feel stretch, definitely. Yeah, feels strong. He's been on a tangent today. Nice. If I could stay tall and not dip and stay in that position, I might yeah. throw it 110 meters. <laughs> the thing is with you is that when you, um, when you have like that vertical block, then your chest your chest is like a little bit forward, right? Instead of your center of mass being behind you. And then that's what allows you to a lot of times where you're either pulling down on it or you're like skying it, yeah. throwing it through the handle. Cause I'm a bitch. <sighs> oh, holy fuck. What? <laughs> you get a stretch from that. Where do you feel, in your upper or your hip? Both, I kind of feel up my oblique a lot. I want you to just get some standing throws here, where I want you here, doing that impulse drill, okay? Where you're practicing, I want you practicing keeping your arm up and almost across and out, hitting the block and then getting that hip to fire. So you go one, two, and then on the third one, Throw. Like three pulses throw? Yeah. So you, so you. Yeah, just really try to do your best to um, feel like that, that last like 15% of the hip fire before the, the before the left, or before the, the throw happens. I already know everyone in the YouTube comments is going to ask what weight this ball is. This is a one kilogram ball from driveline. One kilogram equals 14 pounds. <laughs> oh, that felt it. That was like my, you saw my throw last week, right? Yeah. The last one I feel a little more on it. Dude, I feel like that's what I felt, but didn't know how to like, Articulate it? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Because you could tell you were going pretty slow on that one. Yeah. Now like the key's going to be to be able to do it when you go faster. Fast, yeah. You know? Because, like, that's the thing is, like, before I went to LSU, I told you about keeping your block, like, down a little bit lower. But I didn't explain the hip part yet. But you could see that if you just by getting the block leg lower, it your caused has to. it caused the faster right to left yeah. naturally, and then that's what allowed like your hip to fire yeah. through probably without you even thinking about it. Well, it correlated. Yeah. Well, at least they should be. <laughs> I feel like that's why my short approaches, like three steps, one steps, and five, I can fucking throw, I can throw seventy meters off a of three step. It's because I get that leg down. It's easier to get it down. Because you're, you're going slower. Barely going, you know? When you pick it up, you have so much speed. I had mine up, didn't get it down, and then I throw a few meters further, you know? So I feel like if I could connect that, it'd be good. Two, two meters is a lot. Two meters. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, um, threw, you threw 59 from a three step and 60 from a full approach. That's, that's efficient energy that transfer is. if I've ever seen it. Anyway, um, now let's just add some movement into it. You feel a crazy pull when you get that. Yeah. Also causes so much layback, because if you're fast, you're clear and through, and your arm's still back for that split second, so that creates more layback. And I already have like really good layback, 
but I feel more of a stretch through my chest and into like my shoulder when I when I'm faster with it. If that makes sense. Yeah. Well, that's the thing that some people talk about as well as like, you know, as throwers, like the way that we train, especially with a lot of the mobility and the strength stuff, like we're gonna have really good external rotation. We're gonna have really good layback, but that doesn't always mean that we set it up well enough to use it, use it you yeah. know? Like that's, I'm like a prime example of that because <laughs> you'll, if you freeze frame, if you freeze frame my throw, I'll be here, my arm will be straight back because I have good ER. But then if you see it come in with the energy on the block, I'm like here, and then my arm just snaps to here, and then I throw. That doesn't mean that I was like here where I was like firing my hips and like getting the tension and then yeah. throwing and then it hit ER at some point along the way. It was like, literally, if you freeze frame it, I'm just here and then here and then here. Dude, even, Jesus. even there you feel like you get down that leg fast, you rotate fast, it like pops out of your hand. It has more of like a whip to it than when you're just so vertical with your front leg, you know what I mean? Facts. Maybe you're onto something. Yeah, I, I invented this one. <laughs> <laughs> you invented this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I thought. Oh, are you taking any? No, 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 no. <laughs> dude, I'm, my arm is so, dude, bro. I literally th took like, I threw Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all from the runway. Jeez. In a row. Dude, honestly, like, like throws? They were hard, but like looking back at them, I was moving so slow. Slow. Just because I think that the overall like volume of throws, I was trying to be like intense with it, but you just dial back the intensity with the speed. Yeah. Like subconsciously, but it kind of just threw a lot of my timing off. And I was also like, I was trying to implement all the same stuff that you're doing now, but basically the first time I learned it was on the runway. On the I didn't runway, yeah. do all the drills with you like, yeah. like, like you did. How's that? Good. Does it feel like 80 meters? Feels like, feels like Zelezny is in danger right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see uh, Naraj Chopra's uh, 90 meter practice throw? Dude, I hate when people say practice throw fucking BRs. No, it wasn't. Shut up. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Technically, your, your 74 doesn't count because it wasn't registered with the World yeah, Athletics. Literally. New England's was a practice meet. Yeah, literally. Isn't that crazy that our New England meet, the biggest meet in New England, wasn't registered. Wasn't registered. Crazy. Because I think that was a new rule last year. Yeah. Stupid. But our conference meet was. Is your is the sixty nine from conference on World Athletics? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Dude, this is fucking retarded right now. I'm swearing so much that this is crazy. <laughs> I don't know what you were doing in LSU, but you're on to something. <laughs> <laughs> this is the craziest like connection breakthrough I have. Like it feels just different. Yeah. You know? Feels like I'm barely I'm using like five percent it feels like and it's just coming out. Dude, these are about like five or six jab throwers. Wait, not God damn it, Dan, take the video. Huh? <laughs> so when you throw it, it rips your teeth out. Yeah. You could. Ooh, that that looked nice. That looked real nice. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> yeah, he is. How does that feel? This feels good. Build, build, build. Oh, there that's you go. too slow. He's talking about the, remember how I was dragging on my back foot for so long? Yeah. Talking about, if you watch all the other throws, like their drag is so minimal. 
because they go straight from their approach straight into their block and they just hit it. Like you have to think you can't rotate when you're gliding on your back foot. So we're working on like the fast right to left, dude. It's stupid. Yeah, because you actually use your hips and like use the activation of your hips. How'd that feel? Good. I'm just, I'm not trying to stop. Like, I'm not trying to stop after my throw, so I'm like blowing through it. But the energy trans transfer is a lot better. Yeah. Nice. Make me sweat. Make me water. Make me lose my... Wait, I said the wrong lyrics. <laughs> it's so satisfying when it bounces straight up. Pause. They fly so... It's a wrap. Came off a little.